So before we can start talking about a 5-1 offense, there's a few rotational rules we've got to kind of go over just to um, allow you the flexibility and, and information you need to be able to put players in, in a good spot and, and do it legally. So what we have right here are just the six locations uh, that would be on a wheel or a lineup form. One being in, in the typical serving location, uh, two being right front, three middle front, four left front, five left back, six middle back. And what I did here is just draw a couple dashed lines uh, to display who these players in these positions would need to worry about. So if I'm, a, if I'm in this one position, I can go as far forward as number two, or I can go over as far as number six. Um, I don't have to worry about number three. It's only the people in front of me or behind me or directly front court to back court. So uh, for example, if I'm number six, I can, in the sixth position, I can move forward all the way to three, I can move laterally to five, or all the way back over to one. And where this really comes into play is in a few serve receive options. Um, so um, later you'll see in, in rotation three, when a setter is here in left back and an outside is here in middle front, we, all, we exchange these two players. And the way that works is if I'm this player five, I can move all the way in to this space because I'm still behind number four and inside of number six. So five can go here. And with that same rule, just reversed, three can go all the way back out to this location. So three is still in front of six and inside of four. So these two players can just sort of switch places or exchange, if you will, as long as they stay inside of where those dash lines would be on a court. So uh, there's a lot of flexibility with a 5-1. You can move pieces around. And we'll talk a little bit later about uh, why you might want to put people in certain positions.